So I'm thinking about getting those thems. Those what? Them skates. What skates? No, them skates. What? I'm just gonna buy them. Stop. <laughs> Oh, not this again. Here's some things you should know before you buy those them. The laces are going to be the first thing to break on the skate. Mine started fraying on the first session. And it's extra bad on the skate because of the design. The laces actually do something. When you tighten your laces, it holds your foot in. Not quite as much as it does on the 908, but still enough that the laces probably need to be extra strong compared to the average boot. And it's extra weird because I know that them makes a really good strong wax lace. I don't know why they don't offer a boot with it on it. But lucky for me, I have my own lace brand uh, with a bunch of options and literally the perfect color match for the skate. So the second I'm done with this video, you know I'm putting these on and uh, you can find those at a skate shop near you. So this stock liner is unlike any other liner I've seen before. It's like rough to touch and weirdly light. It makes me think of cardboard. I don't know why that is. It doesn't seem like a cheap liner. It's like quite durable and like well built. There's no like weird frame bits and I've been skating these a lot. And uh, I mean, it does the job. It fits good. It did give me a blister on the inside of my foot, which I haven't had happen in quite a while, even though I'm skating a lot of fresh skates. But uh, I mean, I'm still skating them and they feel fine. I have no issues. They broke in good. Plus they have everything you'd want in a liner too. They have a nice grippy bottom. They don't move around too much. They have a neoprene toe. So it'll adjust to your foot. Uh, but it does have the stupid loop skate carrier thing. So uh, make sure you have a carabiner if you want to carry your skates around. And uh, it's probably worth upgrading to the Intuition them. But uh, I've never skated that liner, so uh, don't blame me when you hate it. The liner and the laces have to be the worst part of the skate. And both of them aren't that bad overall. Oh my god, these look so fucking good, dude. Quality was the first thing I thought of when I pulled these out the box. There are a bunch of little details that come together to make the skate feel very premium. Like the little them brandings all over the boot. The excellent buckle protection, which you think would be standard from like big companies, but somehow it isn't. Uh, it is important to note that on the inside, I have been cutting into the cuff because it's kind of sharp. But also, the inside heel has been flattened out now compared to the 908, which is a massive improvement. As well as just the hardware overall, all the bolts are really good quality. They're not like as good as like an Adapt, but they're like miles ahead of like an Aeon or something like that. Not to mention the bridge hardware on the sole plate. I don't know why no one has copied this yet, but it's so smart to have a bolt that doesn't just spin around when you're trying to unscrew it. And John must have been on a mission to stop that from ever happening again because the rockerable cuff on the skate also doubles as a really good thread. It makes it impossible for it to turn around. If you're curious too, I have it on the high setting. That's how they came. I haven't touched it and they feel perfect to me. It is also important to note though that the uh, bolts have been coming loose. So I'm definitely going to put some Loctite on them and you should as well. All of those things are much better than the standard you get on the average aggressive skate. Something that definitely is more confusing than the average aggressive skate though was the sizing for these. So these come in extra small, small, medium, or large, and it gets even more confusing once you get the Intuition liner involved. And I am usually a US 10.5 for shoes and skates, and I have around about a 28 centimeter foot, and I got the medium, and somehow it was a perfect fit. Not too big, not too small, literally just right. And it shouldn't have been. If I look at the stats and everything that's written down from it, I should be like right on the end of this boot and it should not feel good but i'm very happy that it does feel good i really thought i was gonna have to buy intuition liners and as confusing as the sizing is i want to give props to them because their chart is a bit more transparent than other brands where other brands might just tell you a one-off size and give you a shower that's way too big with a liner that's small in it uh, them gives you everything you need to know which is good to see so i skated to the skate park on my first session on these and the first thing i noticed is they felt really fast again the next thing i noticed is there was quite a lot of shock when i landed like tricks off grinds and stuff but one footprint in so later and that problem is completely solved they feel great it didn't even mess with the fit too they still felt like they fit perfect really adding to the whole feel of the skate it also really helps that everyone was complimenting me on these skates the whole day too they love the marble effect on the cuff which really made me proud to be skating these skates i wanted to show them off they made an entirely new sole plate for the 909 that's a little bit wider and a bit more modern than the original sole plate they had on the 908. And it feels great. It skates like a big sole plate. I can actually lock negatives now and I feel confident in all my tricks, except for alley -oop soles. For some reason on alley -oop soles, the heel feels very floaty and it doesn't really lock in. But it's definitely better than it felt on the 908 sole plate. And uh, I didn't hate it. I liked it a lot. This sole plate is a massive improvement from the original. Somehow these are great in grinds, but don't make the skate feel big and clunky. I don't know how they did it, but it's actually perfect. The way these feel to skate, I would describe as like a modern old school boot. And what I mean by that is it's fast, small, and responsive like an M12, 
but it's still comfortable and grinds well like the average bottom boot you get today. The flex of the skate is good too. It feels supportive, but yet still easily lets me do groove tricks. This is the first boot I've been able to do torque soles out of the box ever. So I definitely approve of it. And if you uh, need some more ankle support or less ankle support, you can change the height of the cuff. So I really don't think you can go wrong. The wheels and berries on these are good. They are far above what you normally get on a stock setup. Actually, I have a quick update about the wheels. Recently, they've gotten really clacky on me. I have all the bolts as tight as I can go. And every single wheel now makes a clacky sound when I like put it down like here. Which is very gross. It makes the skate feel a whole lot worse. Now, I think I've just got unlucky where I was skating in the perfect climate to stretch the cores out. I've had this happen to like pretty much every wheel I've ever had where you just have an unlucky session that seems to ruin them. But there's a chance it is the wheel. If you've had a similar situation, let me know in the comments and check the comments. And if it's a trend happening, then you know that you should probably not get this stock if those wheels are bad. But even if you have no option of replacing the wheels, they're still totally fine like this. It's just not gonna feel as good. And the stock frame has everything you'd want in a stock frame. It has the one-sided bolt, so you don't need two Allen keys. It's fast, it's not too heavy and it works for flat. I was getting some squeak when I was skating the rail, but on rail and quarter, these work great for flat. When I took it to ledge, I was definitely getting some wheel bar, especially on assets, but I haven't gotten used to it, and this definitely works as a flat frame. I just wouldn't call it a beginner-friendly flat frame. So I paid full price for these. They were 350 US dollars, which is definitely on the upper end of the uh, plastic pro skate price range, but it's worth noting that them has some of the industry leading high royalties for the pro skaters. Moopy got 30 US dollars, I think, when I bought this skate. So I got these straight from them and it only cost me 18 US dollars to ship them to New Zealand. And they got here in four days. That's a new record. I can't believe it. That is so goddamn fast and such good value for money. But overall, I think the price is very fair for these skates. I brought the original Them 908 V1 the day it came out and I ended up hating it. The quality I didn't think was up to par, the flex was absolutely crazy, the sole plate treated me bad, and as much as I loved them as a brand, it really put me off buying any more skates off them. But comparing this skate to the, the 909 that I have in my hand now, they almost don't compare. This is better than the 908 in absolutely every way possible. Them really has taken all the downsides that they had with the 908, and fix them with the 909. The name just fits so well because of that. Them actually did just come up with a brand new buckle that'll be on all their 909s from here out. And this skate does not have that buckle on it. But other than that, this will be like every other 909 you buy from here outwards. It is worth talking about that buckle though because it is marking a massive milestone for them as it's the last piece of the skate that wasn't designed by them. So now the Them 909 is completely 100% made by them. Every part of it. And that makes it 100% skater designed. And I think that's why it's such a good product because who would know how to make a better skate than skaters themselves, you know? I'm absolutely in love with them myself and they are going to be my go-to aggressive skate, my baseline skate. And of course, I'll let you know if my opinion changes on them and something is really bad about them. So subscribe if you want to see that. And that's all you really need to know before you buy these thems. And if you were thinking about getting them, I would say go for it. Them has made an excellent premium product here that I think stands out above the competition. And not to mention that them as a brand does so many good things for blading. I don't think you'll regret getting them. You should definitely go for it. Most of the clips you saw of me skating in this video were taken from my stream because that's the only footage I got. And uh, if you wanted to catch one of those streams of me skating, you should follow me on Twitch. I'd love to have you there. Suggest me some tricks. Help me become the first rollerblader to be partnered on Twitch. That'd be absolutely amazing. And I would love to have you there. But also, if you want a reminder of what it's going to be like to have that first session on a brand new pair of skates, you should watch this video here. I think I nailed the vibe really well. And other than that, I hope you have a really good night and you get to go for a skate. And I really appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much, guys. You're the best.